Almost four weeks following the assassination of Fuad Shukr in Beirut by Israel, Hezbollah began responding for his assassination. An unprecedented attack in the dawn of today, Sunday, the 25th of August, Hezbollah launched over 320 drones and missiles into multiple areas in Israel. They targeted Merun base, Navaziv post, Zaatun base, Zaura post, As Sahel base, Kayla barracks in the Syrian Golan Heights, the occupied Syrian Golan Heights, another barrack in the Syrian Golan Heights, Nafah base in the occupied Syrian Golan Heights, Yarden base in the occupied Syrian Golan, Ain Zaytim base and Ramot Naftali barracks. These were the bases. They also targeted areas around the northern parts of Israel. And we saw evidence coming out from telegram groups in Israel that they targeted an Israeli naval ship. There was another report that Hezbollah targeted headquarters for the Mossad and the Shabak in Tel Aviv. However, this hasn't been verified by Israel, neither by Hezbollah. Hezbollah will be coming out with further statements after the expected speech of Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah, the Secretary General of Hezbollah. There are a couple of things to know here. Number one, the timing. Today is the 40th day in the yearly uh, memorial ceremony that is held for the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him during which Hezbollah commemorate, of course, and they're sending a message to Israel with their response today. Also, Hezbollah released multiple statements and called them statement number one, statement number two, statement number three. Why did they call them these names? They released thousands of statements previously. There's a big reason for that. The number statement number one statement number two statement number three that usually happens when there is a new phase so even if you have for example a significant political change or even military coups or a beginning of a revolution the groups that have statement number one will usually call it statement number one following a significant action meaning that we entered a new phase the same phase that the secretary general of hezbollah said hassan Nasrallah spoke about in his last speech secondly in each of their statements which i will be highlighting in further detail in another video following the expected speech of Hassan Nasrallah, the Secretary General of Hezbollah, they started it by saying in the name of God, the destroyer of tyrants. They haven't been using that in their previous statements and they are also sending a message to Israel by beginning the statement with saying in the name of God, the destroyer of tyrants. They clarified that they haven't said everything, but what we do know from Hezbollah is that they carried out the operation in 100% success rate. This is being doubted by Israel. Israel is spreading propaganda. Israel is saying we saw an attack coming from Hezbollah and we prevented the massive attack of about five to six thousand missiles on Israel because of intensity when it comes to our preemptive strike in Lebanon. What did they say? They said over 100 fighter jets participated in attacking Lebanon and they attacked multiple places. And we heard confirmations from Lebanon that they indeed targeted uh, Lebanon, southern parts of Lebanon. However, that this supposed preemptive strike happened after Hezbollah's strike began and simultaneously, as confirmed by reporters from Lebanon, Israel was striking and Hezbollah was still striking during what Israel labeled as a preemptive strike on Hezbollah. Meaning Israel is of course spinning the whole narrative and trying to act like they prevented something much bigger to make it a little bit easier for the Israeli public to consume this. Things are very tense, especially with the fact that Hezbollah said that this is at the beginning of the response. This is the first phase and we completed it successfully meaning they are going to keep israel on hold in this high alert mode with more significant actions being taken against israel we already have uh, flights being cancelled we already have more strict measures when it comes to the population it's in even further panic mode especially with the fact that hezbollah decided to make it a multi-phased response for the assassination of fuad shukr there are a lot more details to talk about especially when it comes to the timing the context what happened simultaneously yesterday and today 
and more revelations that we are about to hear from the Secretary General of Hezbollah, Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah, later on today, and the risk of Hezbollah having such speech in Lebanon with such heightened tensions between them and Israel. 